Good morning. I am Taichi Hashimoto of Clover Center. Today, I would like to talk about the AI platform Clover, uh, which Lion is currently in development. Today's agenda, we have four items on the agenda today, so four in total. First, what is Clova? is the first item on the agenda, and so uh, I would like to speak about what is Clova? What is this Clova that Lion is developing, and what uh, we are aiming for? And so that is the first thing that I would like to explain to you. Next is the history. And so the history and the background behind uh, how we came up with developing Clova, and so I would like to touch upon those aspects. The third one is technology. And so what kind of technology is involved in Clova? What kind of architecture it has? What kind of processes are taking place? And so I would like to touch upon those in the third part. Lastly, uh, I wrote future here, and so I would like to discuss the development of Clova going forward. So what is Clova? I'd like to go over the overview of Clova. As I said earlier, Clover is an AI platform that Line is developing. So, a few weeks ago, we have released to a smart speaker that runs on Clover Wave to select uh, users. Is there anyone in this? among the audience who already has used uh, WAVE. Okay. Thank you very much. I didn't expect to see so many of you here. So only select customers have been able to access this product. So, many of you still cannot imagine what Clover or what Wave is. So, I'd like to see you a um, video clip here. This video clip was broadcasted in a commercial earlier back in August 31st during the halftime of the soccer game between Japan and Australia in the World Cup uh, preliminary round. The victory for Japan would send them to the World Cup. And many Japanese soccer fans were on the edge while they were watching this game. Fortunately, in the first half, with the beautiful goal forward Asano, Japan led one to nothing halftime. And this commercial, this video clip was shown during the halftime. So please keep in mind as you watch this uh, video. I'm home. Clover, turn on TV. Clover, put on some music. Clover, can you line mom where the ketchup saw? What happened? Message from mom. I think it's on the top shelf. Delicious. It's not for you, Clover. It's 7.30. It's about to start. What is going to start? OK, Clover, turn off the light. Turn on the light. Turn off the light. Turn on the light. Clover, how's the game going? 1-0, first half. 
message from mom. Is she asleep? Clover, my mom, that dad has fallen asleep. Bring a new future for communication, Clover. How did you like the video? I think this has brought you some good idea how Clover and Wave will change your daily lives. So, so I think this, the video gives you a good picture of how this will change your life. Within the video, you saw that by talking to Wave, you can turn the lights on, you can send line message to your family members, and you can also find out the progress of the soccer game as, it, as the game goes on. So Smart Speaker Wave receives the user's speech and provides and outputs a service from Clover. And Clover will treat the input from the user's voice input as an input for, uh, from, for a wave and try to understand what the user is looking for and then provide, in turn, provides a service. So that is what the AI platform Clova is about. Through Smart Speaker Wave, various aspects of the daily life can be supported. Uh, and that is the future that we're envisioning at Line. Today, often when AI is often is often mentioned uh, in the media, and many seem to have an understanding that AI is a machine learning or deep learning, or the algorithm of the machine learning is the AI. However, what we think of the AI as, as AI is not uh, machine learning. So the machine learning is not AI. And what we're envisioning of AI is a virtual assistant. And it would be the virtual assistant that is close, that can be used close to our daily lives. So that is how we define AI in line. So machine learning and other cutting edge technologies, those are just an element of what the virtual assistant, uh, what the virtual assistant how the virtual assistant can be realized. So the AI that we provide is something that we use for, for daily lives. As a matter of fact, the name Clova stands for cloud-based virtual assistant. And we took the acronym and came up with the name Clover. Currently, through Smart Speaker Wave, Clover AI platform can are made available, but we are not restricted to such idea. We envision that this AI platform can be applied to many other platforms. Currently, we only have speakers. 
but we were thinking of smartphone applications, home appliances, cars, toys. We believe that various products and services can utilize Clova and to enrich people's lives and provide more support. We, so that's what we would like Clova, Clova to become. So far, I've spoken about AI platform Clova. So I hope you this has shed some understandings on what we're looking for in Clover project. So now I'd like to go over how this Clover project has evolved. This Clover project was launched exactly a year ago in September 2016. After some discussions and development, and in Mobile World Congress 2017, which was held in Spain, we announced Clover AI platform Later on, in June 2017 at LINE conference, we actually demonstrated smart speaker way. And in the following month, we started accepting reservations for pre-orders for WAVE. And in August, we started the shipment. Now, there are some delays uh, for the shipment, and I apologize for that. I understand many of you were waiting for a long time, and that wasn't a desirable situation for us. And this fall, we're going to start selling the way for general public. So, so far, this Kuroba project was de developed in such a short span of time of one year, and many of you were wondering how this was possible. So I'd like to talk about how this was possible for us. At Line Developer Day 2016, a year ago, we announced that we're going to envision Line, we're going to bring Line into the smart portal domain. In order to realize smart portal, we have mentioned that we have three major platforms. One is the messaging platform centered around line. Second is the contents platform centered around con uh, line family products. And then there's an infrastructure platform that supports those services. So based on these three platforms, we have explained that we're going to push this initiative forward. So LINE having NHN Japan and LiveDoor as its predecessors. Before we even started these services, we had some uh, experiences with web searches and uh, portal sites. 
And within those initiatives, we have accumulated technologies for web searches, search technologies, crawlings. And among those technologies, we have done natural language processing, speech processing, and image processing. And these are the assets we had acquired uh, in those uh, ventures. And as Line has started to grow, we have experienced handling of big data and machine learning and bots. And so these are the new things that had expanded, new technologies that had expanded through, through this initiative. As a matter of fact, if you look back on our history, so the basic technologies that's required for AI platform has grown within line. So we will accumulate all these technologies and this is how we were able to put this Clover platform. So this, so we realized that it makes sense for us to put this Clover platform on a track. So this is how we were able to deliver Wave in the span of one year. So far, I've spoken about the overview of AI platform Clover and its history. And going forward, I'd like to talk about the technology behind Wave and AI platform Clover. And I will highlight some details as well. First is the smart speaker wave. So wave is a smart speaker with operating systems on board. It also has uh, wireless communications such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and IR. So this is connected to Clover AI platform through Wi-Fi. And by having the users enter uh, the, the speech commands, the, the Clover will provide various services. And through the smartphone application, Clover and Wave uh, can be configured. Next, I'd like to highlight the architecture of AI platform Clover. First, there are four major components to Clover. The first component is a client, which can be Wave or a smartphone app which is used by the users to enter the command or provide services to the users. Second is this uh, brain component. This is the most important component for Clover. After receiving the voice command, this will be converted to text using speech recognition. And from the user's voice command, it will analyze and understand through 
natural language understanding to find out its, the user's intentions. And furthermore, you will conduct uh, speech synthesis to provide an output in form of speech. And the third part is this, what is called skill. For example, you will play the music, read up the news, send line messages, or turn on the TVs or the lights. So that will be handled by this component skill. And the last component is called platform. So this platform will tie all these three components together. To be more specific, it handles authentications and it will also save user information. So this will provide the basic features of platform. As a mechanism to connect these four components, we have CIC and CEK. These are two interfaces. CIC, it stands for Clova Interface Connect. CEK stands for Clova Extension Kit. I would like to explain in more detail about these two. First, Clova Interface Connect. Clova Interface Connect, or CIC, is an interface to connect the Clova client and the Clova platform. The client first connects to CIC and connects to the Clova AI platform. Then, sends users' voice data to Clova. receives the service results from Clova so that the client can receive it, and so on. To explain in more detail, Clova Interface Connect is composed of SDK and API, and Voice recognition, language comprehension, and voice synthesis are some of the features that can be used. Next, I will explain about the Clova Extension Kit. The Clova Extension Kit, or CEK, is an interface to allow various services to be provided on the Clova platform. In addition to services that we developed ourselves, various services that you, everyone here today, are already using, as long as an API is provided, these can be enjoyed on Clova via WAVE using CEK. When we think about the general structure and flow, here it is. First, the client wave connects to CIC and 
connects to the brain, which is voice recognition, comprehension, and voice synthesis so that they can be used. The results processed in the brain are used to provide various skills to the user via the CEK. Now, I would like to explain to you more about the process flow using various samples. Since it's getting chilly and it's already fall, if the user asks, play me some music suitable for fall, I will show you what happens. First, the user would ask Wave, Clover, then Wave will attempt to connect to CIC. Then the user would say, play me some music suitable for fall. This voice data is passed to the voice recognition module via CIC. The voice recognition module converts this voice data to text in real time. This converted data is then passed to the com language comprehension module and the, for the text received, this module will analyze the user's intent. So if the question or statement was, play me some music suitable for fall, the module will infer that the user wants to play music, specifically wants to listen to music that would be suitable for the season. This is what the language comprehension module will deduce. Because the user's intent is to play music, as the platform as a whole, it will select skills to play music and try to provide a song that the user would enjoy listening to. Then, according to the user's intent that has been analyzed, the music skill will choose to play music. The user's conditions are the following. Music that is suitable for fall. So the recommendation engine will be used to select a song that the user would enjoy listening to. Once a song is selected, from the CEK via CIC, the song will be streamed. Then, music will start to play from wave. This is the mechanism. In this way, music suitable for fall was successfully played from wave. Let's say that the user had never heard of this song before and wants to know what the song is and who the artist is. In such a case, the user would ask this to wave, Clover, what's this song? Then, in the same way as the earlier process, 
The voice data entered in WAVE via CIC will go through voice recognition, language comprehension to understand the user's intent. Based on what's this song, the module will understand that the user wants to know the name of the song being played and the artist who's singing. And for this statement, the module also understands that the context is music. So, the music skill will be selected and the title or the name of the singer and other metadata will be provided for the song being played. Then, the CIC will create or generate a sentence stating the information of the song being played. The generated sentence will be converted from text to sound using the voice synthesis module and will be stated through CIC. This sounds simple. Uh, in order to make Clover more and more intelligent, there were many challenges. Here are a few. A major challenge or issue that we faced was general knowledge. In order to have as many users as possible use Clova, be able to use Clova, Clova needs to have a wide range of general knowledge. So the first thing we worked on was to teach Clova artist names, song names, album names, landmarks, and proper nouns so that Clova can correctly understand it, ensure correct language comprehension, and correct voice synthesis to state these names. This is what we have reinforced. Also, content-related information such as manga, animes, names of television series were also important for Clova to correctly understand. Another challenge was when use general users would make statements, we had to be careful of unique expressions or words, such as how to count different things, how to state the date and time, common everyday expressions, and so on. We made an effort so that the maximum num types of alternative expressions can be recognized. We are working hard every day to reinforce the general knowledge of CLOVA, but uh, there is still much work to do. So we intend to continue to strive to make CLOVA more intelligent. There is also issues that are particular to the Japanese language. Compared to other languages, Japanese is known to have many types of characters. For this reason, for voice recognition, language comprehension, and voice synthesis, there are some problems that only occur with Japanese. Here are the main three issues. First, misunderstandings. Let's say the user says stop. The voice recognition module may understand it as top or taught could sound like talk, especially the sounds t and k are often 
misunderstood because it is not common sounds in the Japanese language. So we are uh, reinforcing this area. Also, homonyms are very troublesome in the Japanese language. To give you an example, in English, C could be the letter C. It could be C as in view or look, or it could be C as in ocean. These are just a few examples of how language understanding is difficult. Last but not least, for voice synthesis, some users may misread a text. For those of you who may be studying Japanese, Hare Ichiji Ame, which is sunny with uh, showers, this could be read in the wrong way, Se Ichiji. Or other users may read, spell out a word instead of pronouncing it. Each module cannot resolve all problems. For this reason, for voice recognition, language understanding, and voice synthesis, we try to make these modules um, support each other to resolve as many issues as possible. Next, I would like to explain the features that are provided through WAVE. First is playing music. Next is uh, announcing the weather, casual conversation, fortune telling, alarms, and an IR remote using infrared. That was an overview regarding the current technology of WAVE and the current state of CLOVA. Last but not least, I would like to explain about the future of CLOVA. In the CLOVA project, the key word that we are focusing on the most is growth. As I mentioned earlier, it has only been a year since we began developing Clova full throttle. So Clova is much like a newborn baby. At LINE, we are doing our utmost to work as fast as we can to help Clova grow. We, I will start with the earliest announcements. We will begin uh, official sales of WAVE this fall. I cannot announce the exact date yet, but we will be making an official announcement very soon. Following WAVE, CHAMP, another smart speaker, is also being developed right now. Compared to WAVE, it is cuter and more uh, mobile. We have some samples for you to see at today's event. Please have a look. As for technical reinforcements, 
First, we will reinforce CLOVA's recognition skills. One major point of reinforcement is that CLOVA will be able to recognize the speaker from the voice. When this is enabled, let's say a family is using CLOVA every day. CLOVA would answer hello to the question, hi CLOVA, but if it were a friend or a visitor talking to CLOVA, CLOVA would answer, nice to meet you, so that CLOVA can respond in a smarter way and communicate more smartly using uh, speaker recognition. Also, we hope to allow CLOVA to understand things other than speech, such as the concept of time, users' past uh, behavior history, and other information other than speech, so that, let's say, CLOVA would say good morning in the morning, but good evening in the evening. If it were Christmas time, Clover would say Merry Christmas. If it were New Year's, Clover would say Happy New Year. These are some examples of everyday conversations and user situations that Clova could understand for a richer communication. This is what we are aiming for. Furthermore, for the existing skills toward the general sales, so far we have been providing six types of skills. Uh, going forward, we're thinking of adding more skills. And in addition to that, the gate box, which will be announced in one of the sessions uh, in this afternoon, we're thinking of strengthening the tie-up with the gate box in the coming future. So for the afternoon session on gate box, the speaker will present the overview of the development. So I hope you look forward to this uh, this gate box session. And one of the most important things to help Clover glow and that is, I believe, is that uh, we need help from all the engineers who are attending this event, event today. In 2018, we'll be opening up the Clover development environment so the engineers can develop devices, services, and apps using Clover and Wave. I believe that not many of you already own WAVE at this point. And we would like as many engineers as possible to have access to WAVE. I want these engineers to be able to uh, get some hands-on wave. So we'll be presenting the smart speaker wave to 50 lucky uh, winners among our attendees today. And for the drawing, it will be selected from those who have turned in their surveys. So please do answer those questions in the survey. And
we will not will be drawing at random. So please stay at the event as long as possible. I'm very sorry that we cannot distribute wave to every single one of you today. And this is the member who is developing wave right now. Thank you very much for listening.